everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to Dawn of the Zeds, 3rd edition, the basic game, and we are moving into turn 6. Right, well I don't think there's anything to clear up from last turn, I think we're good, so let's head straight on into the Z phase. And <clears throat> here we are at the Zeds phase. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, God. <laughs> Zeds disease quickening. This is not going to be good, is it? Oh, look at all this movement. Yeah, what did, what did I say? Highway, forest trap movement. Well, at least we get three actions. At the beginning of this phase, make a fate draw. So that'll be the fate deck. We haven't used that yet. During this, place a new Z unit on the start space of the fated track. During this turn, each regular civilian's unit eliminated or sent to the hospital after its saving roll. Place a new Z unit on the space where it was killed. Oh. Apply the stacking limit when, if necessary. Oh, this isn't good, is it? That is two movements, that, on the forest track. Oh! Well, no, for it, we've just got to get on with it, haven't we? Um, oh, put it there. So, first of all, we've got to make this fate draw. So here's the fate deck. As we haven't used it before, let's give it a bit of a shuffle and then a cut. see what we get killdozer well that's not too bad hold for later play this card when a player unit begins hand-to-hand -hand attack for a plus two shift in that fine cool so this is the thing where it's telling us where we can put that extra Z unit and it's players choice so that's not too bad let's just put that there so we've got the player's choice about where to put that unit. Oh, well, they're all pretty grim, aren't they? That's 12, that's 10 strength. Forest track, no way. <laughs> Shall we go for the suburbs track? We'll put it on the suburbs track. So... This is the new unit. It is a five strength unit. So that goes on the suburbs track. This is looking grim, this. Right. Right, so I've done, we've done that, the first bit. Right, it's just move this lot and we've got to try and stay alive. Otherwise it gets really bad. And it's that forest track. That forest track's not looking good at all. Right, so, but on here, it's the highway track movement first. It's looking pretty bad on the highway track, to be honest. Let's just keep this fake card. Actually, we'll, we'll leave it there, because we might have to use it this turn. I'm either going to have to use it on this highway track now, or on the forest track in a minute. Right, oh, so next up, we have the highway track. Let's just move across there and have a closer look. Right, here we are on the highway track. Now, this, these two units are going to move here into Ingeberg. And so let's do that. This time we do have the terrain shift. So it's three times this unit, the strength of this unit. Well, more. So it's six times, but... Three times is the furthest across we can go. We will go to... We'll get a right shift. Do we use Killdozer? I'm not going to use Killdozer. We're going to save that for the forest track because there's much more movement on the forest track. So I'll move that up here. We'll use that on the next track movement, which we're going to do in a minute. So these guys lose their Defiant Marker. 
and it is hand to hand combat time right so we'll need this and we need a good roll let's have a look at the uh, hand to hand combat matrix so we're going to be times two because we get the right shift for terrain oh look at this we need a 10 or above really a 10 or above come on right couple of dice, ten or above, come on, ooh an eight, an eight is not too bad, I don't think it's good enough, I think we're still in big trouble, we do manage to get one hit, but we take two hits, and we have to retreat, so we take two hits, which means that flips us over. If I don't drop us on the floor, it'll give us more damage. So we're flipped over. We go back here. Because we've been defeated. And we do manage to put one hit on one of these units. We'll put it on the... Urgh. Which unit should we put it on? I think we're allowed to look at the other side. So that'll go down to a one strength unit. And this one will go down to a four strength unit. It's just one hit. Let's put it on the 8 strength unit. So there we go. So at least these guys haven't been uh, killed. Because that is bad news on this card getting killed. So that is the highway track movement. So let's get up to the forest track. And uh, let's see if we can hold them off there. And here we are at the forest track, which is real laughs because we've got two lots of movement. So the first lot of movement will be these guys marching into St. Thomas. We lose, again, we lose the Defiant Marker. And we get hand-to-hand -hand combat. So this is three times. Yeah. I'm wondering whether to use the Killdozer yet. No, we'll leave it. We do get the terrain shift. So once again, it is Z times two because of the terrain shift. And as mentioned, we could do with a 10 or better. Ooh, that's a three. Um, come on. Come on. Oh, five. This is going to be even worse. I think we have lost a unit. Five. So three. Three. We haven't quite lost them, fortunately. Oh, you can't see it. There you go. So we do get pushed back. So these guys have to go on their wounded side. This is a bad this is a bad card. And because they got three hits on them, it means they get an additional hit. So that goes on there. Well, they are at death's door, but they have survived for the time being. So these guys get to stay here. We didn't get any hits on those at all. Then we've got to move these guys up one. So they move here. And then the second part of the movement, because we've got two movements, is these guys moving into here, where they will meet the Farmingdale Furies. As I mentioned, defending units don't stack like mobs do. So we're going to use the Farmingdale Furies, because that means we're exactly equal. Both got six strength, and we get a right shift. So again, we'll keep we'll keep hold of the killdozer, I think. 
because it might be useful later on. So equal and a right shift. So we've got equal to or human advantage. So here we go again really high up here would be great so let's move that back over there we need a really good roll let's get this in can we see that we can come on go on angelina oh five <laughs> so we get a five on human advantage isn't it so that's well at least we at least we send them back so it's two off each they did win so they've sent them back there they've got two damage but they haven't been flipped over these guys took two damage so now they're down a heroic unit. Let's just check the card. Do they get any sort of special? Oh, they're tough. Each time they re receive a hit, roll a die. Come on. Come on, ladies. A four, four, five, or six is good enough, I think. Yep. That hit is cancelled. Woo! I'll just check whether I've got because they got two hit. They got sort of two damage on them. Whether that counts, I'm not sure what the difference is between a hit and damage. So won't be a second. Yes, counts as two hits. So we've saved one hit. Yeah. So we've got a roll for the other hit because we got two hits. Ah, oh, so we only save one of the hits, but that's okay because that means we still stay on this side. So we're still on our strongest side. We have just took one hit. That's all. Tough ladies, tough ladies. So cool. That's better. We're still at six strength. We've knocked those guys back. Made them retreat. That's cool. And we still got the kill kill dozer in re reserve. Um, what else have we got to do? We've got to move these guys up because uh, they've still got to have their second movement. Now, not both of them. Both of them cannot move up. Only one, I think, which will be the tougher unit, which is this one. I'll just see what happens to that five unit. I think it stays where it is. Won't be a second. Yes, that's right. The weaker unit remains where it is. So the seven unit has joined the six unit. So there's a strength of 13 on St. Thomas. St. Thomas has been pretty much overrun. But fortunately, Angelina Fury and the girls managed to save one hit. So they're still pretty tough. Well, I think I'll keep the Killdozer card up there because if we get another Forest Trap movement, I think we're definitely going to have to use it. So, um, that is it, I think, for all the movement. So, we moved them on the highway track. We got beaten and um, shoved back. First Forest Track, we got beaten and the civilians got shoved back. Second Forest um, Track movement... We managed to knock back the Furies, knock them back. So, um, yes, back to St. Thomas. And But the unit that was knocked back to St. Thomas was joined by another 7 strength unit. I think that's it. Nobody went to hospital. So, and I think that saving roll is a saving roll to stop you going in the cemetery. It's got nothing to do with the toughness roll that the Furies just did so that's cool we didn't get any more Zeds coming up through that so right let's move on to the action phase and here we are at the action phase so let's just check 
where we get three actions, which is good, because we'll probably have to be doing some shooting. So we'll get rid of that. One, two, three. Right, oh, so we've got three extra actions. I definitely think that our friend Captain Piazza is going to be shooting over into St. Thomas. I think we'll save an action for Mr. Johnson to try and get some ammo. Uh, let's do those two first and then we will think about the other guys. Right, oh, so Captain Piazza, let's zoom in. And here we are with Captain Piazza. Right, she's going to shoot. So she's shooting two away, which means she gets a strength of four on her gunfire attack. So she'll be rolling on here. So cool. We lose an ammo. So we go down to five ammo and we roll. Come on. We get seven. which is two, we get two hits. So I think we are gonna use those two hits on this chap. So we will flick it over. Whoop. So flicking this over. So that goes down to four strength now. So we've knocked a couple of strength off it. So it was one to flick it over and it gets another hit on it. So that just needs two more hits to get rid. Is she gonna shoot again? Yes, she is. So we're gonna use another action and another ammo. So the ammo goes down to four and she's gonna fire again. And she gets another seven, which is another two hits, which is enough to get rid of this fella. So that has gone now. So some mighty fine shooting from Captain Piazza has got rid of that unit. Excellent. So we'll get rid of that hit marker. Right. So that's a bit better. We've got it down to two zombie units on the forest track. She's not going to shoot again. That is going to be it for her actions. right -o. So who's next? It is going to be Mr. Johnson. So let's get up to the Lucky Strike Mine. And here we are with Mr. Johnson. So let's put that there. Can we see it? Yes, we can. Right, there's Mr. Johnson. What he's going to do is he's going to forage. So... Come on. Oh. So hang on while well, I move the, uh, we're down to one event action now, because he's just used one up. So unfortunately they don't stack. If we got two sixes, they would have stacked and we'd have got four ammo, but we can only pick one of them. So we're going to pick the six because obviously that's two ammo. So that puts us back up to six. So that's cool. Excellent work there from the boy. Now, is he going to shoot at that unit? <laughs> is he going to shoot at that unit? Because it's at two. Got two hits on it already. Yes, I think he is. So he's a strength of yes, he is. So he's gonna we're gonna use our last event action. And one of the ammo is just found. So we're gonna go down to five ammo. And he's gonna shoot at this unit. He's got a strength of three, but he's got heavy weapons. So that moves him across to a strength of five. So we'll be using this column. Let's use these two again. Come on. Come on, Mr. Johnson. He gets a seven. Which puts two, an extra two on. That's good. 
So one, we'll flip these guys over. So they're now a three strength unit. And obviously they get another hit. And let's flip that back. So Mr. Johnson holding out pretty well at the Lucky Strike Mine. Well done. Right, that is his go. We may as well keep that there. We will go now to who's going to go next. We still have our player action. All we've used is our three event actions. So now we are going to go to... Ooh, where shall we go? Where shall we go? I don't really know. Um, yeah, I'll use that player action for that. Right, let's go to Sheriff Hunt. And here we are with Sheriff Hunt. What he's going to do is he's going to use his leadership ability. So he's going to spend that. And he's going to tell these guys here to move to Second Street. So we're just going to pull back a little bit, I think. So that is it for Sheriff Hunt. Next up, let's go and see Deputy Smith. And here is Deputy Schmidt. But we're going to use our player action first. So we're going to spend that. But we're not going to spend it on Deputy Schmidt. We're going to spend it on these chaps here. And they are going to shoot. So they're going to shoot back up here. So um, thought about retreating with them, but nah. Nope. They're going to shoot. I don't think they're going to last long anyway. So let's try and uh, get something on these guys. Now, they're only one. They are only one on here. Oh, no, we'd have to get a 10, 11 or 12. That's not very likely. Forget that. We will still use the player action, I think, on them. And we will retreat them. So we will retreat them to the nuclear plant. So we'll just take them back there. Right, oh, so yeah, I don't think it's much good them firing. If anybody was going to fire, it would be, it'd probably be the unit up at lefties, at lefties, at the Lucky Strike Mine. But uh, no, what we'll do is we'll just bring them back a bit, I think, with that player action. And then that just leaves Deputy Schmidt and his initiative action. And as usual, he is going to have a route round for some ammo. But he is only going to get one dice and he needs a six. Come on, about time you run another six. Oh, five. Not quite. So he hasn't managed to find any more ammo at the nuclear plant. Right, oh. So, coolness. That is the end of the action phase. So let's go to the housekeeping phase. And here we are at the housekeeping phase. So let's put our, all our tokens the right way up. So that's fab. And we are ready for next turn. Right, well that was a pretty grim card that the quickening i think we pretty much got away with it uh, but again we've been we've just been shoved back all the time so i have retreated a couple of units i'm not so sure how wise that is but um yeah i'm just leaving myself a bit of a gap one of the good things about the basic game i've noticed against other games um other levels is that we're not using chaos markers normally when the Zeds come into these named spaces you put a chaos marker down now I think the idea behind that is to stop what I'm doing here which is I'm just sort of retreating a little bit at a time and I'm trying to keep everybody alive as much as possible the reason I'm trying to keep everybody alive as much as possible and retreating bit by bit is I'm just trying to eat up time now I think in the later levels where they use these chaos markers, you're only allowed to use so many before you lose the game. I think the idea behind that is to stop what I'm doing here, which is sort of just retreating a little bit every time. 
putting up a bit of a resistance and then melting away because essentially I'm trying to there are 16 cards that we've picked event cards so we've got to go through all 16 so I'm essentially like little bit at a time little bit at a time little bit at a time stop fight retreat stop fight retreat again those chaos markers had stopped me doing that because I think uh, I can't remember how many it is but I think it's eight or something once you get eight game over but they're not in the basic game so I can ignore that so I think it's okay that I've retreated a couple of units again now they've retreated we're gonna have to stand and fight again we did pretty well. Captain Piazza did pretty well. She got rid of a unit on the forest track, which we needed to get rid of. So, and the Farmingdale Furies managed to save one of their hits. So they're still on the strong side. So hopefully they will be able to resist the Z units coming down the forest track. Mounting track, we're doing okay. We've managed to flip a unit onto its wounded side, thanks to Mr. Johnson who also found a couple of ammo so we're quite good on ammo We've still got five ammo left so that's pretty cool as for as for the sheriff and deputy schmidt again we're still doing that holding thing and we've moved a couple of units back which is essentially what we're trying to do there as mentioned i was thinking of shooting with the unit that was on um interstate four but they've only got a strength of one it's not i'd have to get a 10 or 11 or a 12 so that's that's not very likely so let's just uh let's just retreat and um fight another day right oh so that is it for turn six of dawn of the zeds third edition the basic game hope you enjoyed it uh thank you so much for watching thanks for all the views and all the subscriptions thanks for all the corrections and for all the help and support including any tactical tips you have i have a feeling somewhere there i may have missed a trick but um if you've spotted something i probably should have shot again um either with um captain piazza or mr johnson i think perhaps i should have used another ammo but hey ho we'll see how we go on right so as I say, yeah, thank you for watching. Thanks to everybody who's been across to Board Game Links to upvote the site. That's brilliant. And I hope to see you for turn seven. Until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo!